So people who are high in hostility and aggression have higher incidences of cardiovascular disease. Now, here's the thing that comes back to kindness, because kindness and love and compassion, because of how they feel to us, they feel nice. We produce not stress hormones like when we feel stress, we produce kindness hormones. Now, one of the most important kindness hormones, oxytocin, also called the love drug, the hugging hormone, the cuddle chemical, it has a number of affectionate names. I call it the kindness hormone to add to that, uh, to that library of, of terms. Uh, but one of the most amazing things that it does is, is it, it, it softens the walls of our blood vessels and it, 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 it releases the tension in the walls of the blood vessels. And, that, and so that the blood vessels go like that and they expand. They probably make that noise as well if you really <laughs> listen. But it goes like that. And it means the heart doesn't have to work quite as hard to push the blood and the, the blood through. So the heart eases off some of its pressure. And what you get is a reduction in blood pressure. So kindness hormones are called cardioprotective because they protect the, the cardiovascular system.